I am clearly home now, but I just got back from Japan. And one of the things that I did there was take the bullet train. And I had a couple of people ask, hey, let us know what that's like. Is it scary? Is it fun? Is it like a roller coaster? I am going to narrate a little bit of footage of what the bullet train was like. Can you hear that? Do you hear the rain? I believe they can go up to like 200 miles an hour. It is coming down. Okay, I gotta check. That'd be so bad if there was like just randomly a tornado as I'm trying to film this vlog. I have to check the weather. Okay. Looks like it's just a severe thunderstorm warning. Um, I was seeing debris fly around outside. So, storm damage. Storm damage report. I know you're scared. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, hope you enjoy the footage. I'm gonna start this video off with a mistake that we made. We ordered our tickets online and had a bunch of fees. We could have just gone to the station. It would have been way easier. Here is the train arriving. It kind of reminds me of a Barracuda. I don't know, that might just be me. I might be weird. Maybe it reminds you more of a snake. I don't know, but it has a really cool shape. So it's hard to tell in this video, but the train was pretty full and everyone was very quiet, so it was hard to film on board. The chairs also swiveled around, but again, because it was crowded, couldn't really do that and show you guys. The first class cabin was two seats instead of three. It was a little bit more spacious and supposedly there was room for more baggage. I know it looks cramped here, but we were able to put our bags up at the top. And this is us just waiting for the train to fill in. This was the tray in front of us, which is just like the trays you get on airplanes. And this button controlled reclining your seat to give you a little bit more room to relax. In front of us was a footrest. So it was a really comfortable seat for taking a nap. Honestly, way more comfortable than the airplane seats. I slept for about two hours of this ride. Taking off is really smooth and it starts out pretty slow. So it doesn't go like zero to 200 really fast. Uh, I, I lied. I'm totally kidding. Obviously you can feel that you're moving, but humans can feel acceleration and not speed. So you can't really tell how fast you're going. The fastest we caught it at with an app was 175, but the trains are supposed to be able to go to 200 miles an hour. This was my sandwich. I got a sandwich at a little station shop right outside the train. So we got lunch and then another snack because they came around with food and drink just like they would on an airplane. We're underground here as I'm enjoying my little snack. And then I did more exploring, of course. I found a hidden tray inside the armrest, which I wasn't able to get it to close all the way because I had my first tray open. Oh, and I went to explore the bathroom for you guys, just for you guys. And it's, it's very unexciting. It's underwhelming. It looks like an airport bathroom. Based on all the other bathrooms in Japan, I don't know why, but I expected something different. But that is my adventure on the train. I hope you enjoyed it. That will be it for the bullet train footage from Japan. I know this was a little bit shorter of a video, but I just wanted to show what that experience was like. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.